السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد um, In the previous class we spoke about the first chapter and we said the first chapter is فعل يفعل and we also said that the scholars رحمهم الله تعالى uh, gave common examples for each chapter not only that, even they have given a common example for the muta'addin and for the lazim. We said that the muta'addi is the transitive and the lazim is the intransitive. And uh, we also said that there are ways to identify each chapter and uh, the first way to identify the verbs or let's say the ways to identify the verbs belonging to this chapter yeah, to chapter one are three are three they are four they are four but now we'll take three but now inshallah we'll take three they are four but uh, the fourth is uh, only understood when we go to the uh, yeah, when we go to another level inshallah uh, that is why we will take now only three inshallah three of those four the first one is when when the ain is when the ain is a wow is when the ain is a wow is when the ain is a wow And the second is when the when the lamb is a wow. And the third is when the verb Or when the fail is mudaaf and mutaaddin. So these are the three three ways to know that the, that the verbs belong to chapter one. So whenever you find a verb where the ain is a wow, or the lam is a wow, or it's both a mudaaf and a mutaaddin then it definitely belongs to chapter one. Wadah barakallahu feekum. So we'll take an example. Now, we have instructed before that in order for you, yani in order uh, we have studied that in order to form many or to build many forms we will do that from what from the master 
which is the verbal noun. ليس كذلك. So every master is going to be our starting point. Our starting point to for or to 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 build many forms. ليس كذلك. Okay. So now we want to take a verbal noun and we want to um yani we want a verbal noun where the in is a wow. An example to that is قول. Now قول 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 Now قول what does that mean قول يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا And Allah سبحانه وتعالى said قول معروف خير من صدقة يتبعها أذى So قول and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said also, وَقُلْنَا قَوْلًا مَعْرُوفًا So, قول, قول is the act of saying. The act of saying. قول, قول. Okay, so this, we want to turn قول now to the mob. We want to turn قول to the mob. We want to turn قول to the mob. Okay, so قول, we want to turn it to a mob. Now, turning it to a mob is bringing it or is matching it to which scale? Uh, which scale are we going to match it to? فعل. أحسنتم أحسنتم ما شاء الله فعل. Okay, now فعل Why فعل Why not فعل And why not فعل Why specifically فعل Why hmm? Why فعل hmm? Because the wow is a عين And what if the wow is a ain? And what if it is chapter one? Very good, because it belongs to chapter one. So whenever the wow or whenever the ain is a wow, that means it belongs to chapter one. And chapter one follows which combination? You say it follows the combination fa'ala yaf'ulu. Okay. فعل يفعل. So we are going to turn to فعل and يفعل. واضح. So we bring يفعل here. So this, my dear student, is what you're going to do. Okay, this is how you're going to form the, the verbs. Okay, according to the combinations, according to the chapter. Now, قولun. قولun. Okay, now you want to match قول to فعله. That means that first you're going to bring the fa of the word. Fa, because you said fa'ala. So you're bring, going to bring the fa of the word. What's the fa of the word? Huh? What's the fa of the word? The qaf. So you're going to bring the qaf right here. Qa, qa. 
Qaf, Fa, Qaf, Fa. Then you're going to bring the ayn of the word, which is what, according, look, look at the, look at the verbal noun, and then you're going to move the letters over the scale of fa'ala and change the necessary. So you're going to bring the wow next, and that wow will take what? Will take the same haraka that it is given in the scale, which is a fatha. Wa, fa'a, because in the scale it said fa'a, right? Fa'a. So you're going to say a wa, because the qaf is the fa' of the word. Why? Because the qaf is the first original letter. Okay, so you're going to bring the first original letter and you're going to, you're going to place it against the fa. Qa, fa. Qa, fa. Qa above, fa under. Then you're going to bring the ayn of the word, which is the waw. Fa, a. Qa, wa, wa. The waw will go on the second place. It finds, which is up, up, over the ayn. And then you're going to bring the lamb on the third place which is over the lamb also because it's the lamb of the word okay now you have formed a new or let's say you have built a new form of the word starting from what starting from where from where did you come up with this form huh? from the master starting from the master okay from Qawlun, Fa'lun. You started from there and then you started building the mustard. How did you do that? You, tra you turned those letters into this look, into this form. What? Okay. Qawla. Qawla on the scale of Fa'la. Okay. Okay. Qawla. Fa'la. Yaf'ulu. Yaf'ulu. Ya. 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 What are we going to place over the ya? Because here it says yaf'ulu. A ya. A ya. Why a ya? Why a ya? Hmm. Because it's extra. How did we know it's extra? Huh. Very good. It's not in the mustard. Because it's not in the mustard. So the extra letters, always compare them with the rest of the forms. If you don't see them in the other forms, that means they are extra. Okay? So, yeah, this yeah, we're going to give a fatha. So, we, we just placed it as it is. Then we bring the fat of the word. Yef, yef, yef. The fat of the word is going to be what? The qaf. And since in the scale, yef, the fat has a sukun, we're going to do the same to the word above, to the word we are forming. So, yef, yaqa. Yaf, yaqa. Yaf, yaqa. Then we're going to bring the ayn of the word, which is the waw. Wow. And the ayn of the word, the ayn in the scale has a dhamma. So we're going to give the ayn of the word a dhamma according to the scale. Okay? Then you're going to bring the lamb. And the lamb in the scale has a dhamma. So you're going to give the lamb of the, of the word Adam as well. Now this resulted to a new form that you have built. That you have built. What's that new form? What does it read? What do you read in front of your eyes? Yaqwulu. Huh? Not Yaqwulu yet. Yaqwulu. 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 Yaf. Lu sounds exactly the same. It sounds exactly the same. Okay. Now, now do we know how to? Now did we? Do, did we see all? How do we change into the mob and the mudar? 
Hmm? Okay. Now you can notice the you you should be able to notice the following. Okay, one that in order to change from mom to mudaria to mudaria we what did we do we added a letter in the beginning we added a letter in the beginning here we added a a what a yeah. then we silenced we silenced the fa of the word okay then we gave the ayn a haraka according to the chapter Then finally, we set its end upon a bump. And this is what you are going to do to change any mod to its mudana. Clear? So then again, again, in order to change from mod, fa'ala to mudara, yafrudu. What did we do? You can notice step by step what happened. You see, you can see that first we added the ya. First, we added the ya. As you can see, look, yani compare the madi to the mudari. Okay? Yani let your starting point to build the mudari be the madi. Let the madi be the star starting point for you to build the mudari. Just as the mustar was your starting point to build the mad. Okay? So now, here, the mad. Compared to the mudari, what happened? So we added the ya. We added, and this is what happened. Look above. Look above. This is qawala. Okay. This is qawala right here. Okay. Qawala. Okay. This is qawala right here. Now, what did we do? See, observe. First, we added a ya. There we go. And we gave that ya a fatha. So we're going to write here, in addition, we said we, we, here we added a ya with a fatha. With a fatha. Okay. We added a ya with a fatha. Then we silenced the qaf, which is the fa of the word, correct? Okay. Then we looked at the ain of the word. We say the ain of the word now, this is going to be according to the chapter it belongs to because 
the ayn alternates between the fatha and the dhamma and the kasra. Sometimes it is on the scale of yaf alu, and sometimes it is on the scale of yaf ilu, and sometimes it's on the scale of yaf ulu. But here, according to what we have studied, we see that the ayn of the word in this ch particular chapter takes what? Is going to take a dhamma, so we go ahead and give that wow a dhamma. Yaqo wu. Yaqo wu. Yaqo wu. Okay? Now, according to the end, wa alaykum as -salam, according to the end, the end of every mudari'ah by default is set upon the dhamma. Every mudari'ah. So you're going to say yaq wu lu. Yaq wu lu. Yaq wu lu. Yaq wu lu. Wadih? Wadih barakallahu feekum. Okay. Since that is clear now, we say Second thing that you notice is that this that the Arabs did not settle with these forms as they are now. But they have applied certain changes according to certain principles which their way in speech implied. Am I clear? The Arabs didn't settle with these forms as they are now, but they have applied certain changes according to certain principles which their way in speech implied. The first principle or one of the the yeah, the first principle, one of the principles is that every wow or yeah pay attention Every wow or yet having a having a haraka. And the letter before it has a fatha is turned into and elf is turned into an elf. Every wow well, or oh yeah, having a haraka and the letter before it has a fatha is turned into an elf. Okay, so if we look at Qawala we find that the aforementioned uh, principle could be applied here why? Mm. Why? لماذا? 
Pourquoi? Because the wow has a fatha and the letter before, uh, sorry, because the wow has a haraka and the letter before has a fatha. Any word. Wave. Of course, there are exceptions sometimes. Sometimes there are exceptions, but originally this is how it is. Now, the wow has a haraka in qawala. Does the wow have a haraka? Yes, it does. Number two, the letter before it, does it have a fatha? Yes, it does. Since it does, the principle is applicable. So, if we apply the principle, what do we do? We turn that wow into a alif and then uh, sorry this this will read uh, we find that the financial principle could be applied here so if we turn into an alif it will turn to qala it will turn to qala qala it will turn to qala it will turn to qala that's why the Arabs, they say qala. They don't say qawala. Qala Allahu hadha yawmu yanfa'u s-sadiqeen sidiquhum. Wa idh qala Musa li qawmihi ya qawmi lima tu'zunani wa qad ta'lamoon. Wadhe. Qala. They didn't say, they don't say qawala. They say qala. Why? Because of this principle. Understood? Wadi. You skip to right wow, so if we turn, I don't understand. Maybe you can help me understand what you have written. Tayin, wadi? Yes. Hmm. We find that the aforementioned principle could be applied. So if we turn into an alif, it will turn to, to yes. If we turn the wow into an alif, obviously, because that's what we said, what we spoke about, and in the principle, we don't have to, because looking at the principle above, it is known. It is known. Now, Tayyib. All right. That's why I said we find that the aforementioned principle could be applied here. Tayyib. Wadi. Then. Then, another principle led them to change how Yaqulu looks, how Yaqulu looks.
How yak wudu? Yak wudu. Yak. How yak wudu looks? And that is. The bum over the wow or over a wow is heavy. The thumb over a wall is heavy. Now, to get rid of that heaviness, we either we Drop it or move it to the preceding letter just as long as it has no haka. Again, the dhamma over a wall is heavy. Wu, wu, wu might not be heavy in the English language because you, you could say wood. Okay, but in the Arabic speech it is heavy because the dhamma is a heavy haraka and the wow is a heavy letter. And a heavy haraka over a heavy letter causes heavy speech. And the grand principle in Arabic is seeking what? Lightness in speech. Okay, so dhamma over wow is heavy. To get rid of that heaviness, we either drop the dhamma, okay, or we move it to the preceding letter if it has no haraka. Water. Heaviness is from different aspects, respected sister. Heaviness comes from different aspects. So, heaviness could be a letter in itself, which is heavy, or it could be a letter which is pronounced heavily mean in the sense of not being pronounced lightly. So heaviness comes comes from different aspects. Here the wow and the ya are heavy letters. The wow and the ya. Okay? So here the wow and the ya are the heavy letters. No. So the wow and the ya are heavy letters. We have a dhamma On a wow, or a dhamma on a ya, or a kasra on a ya, this is a heavy. Now, to get rid of that heaviness, 
let's say let's say the other way around we move it to the preceding letter if it has no haraka or we drop it this is better so we look at the letter before if the letter before has no haraka we give the bum to it otherwise we drop it understood hmm. so in this case the bum Okay, now the interruption is starting again, just to let you know, no, the, the connection. Now, in this case, the Dhamma will move from being on the wow, or let's say ain better to being on the ah, the fat yes Therefore, the new look will be ah. Will be what? Will be Yaqulu. Will be Yaqulu, Yaqulu, Yaqulu. First it was Yaqulu. Bring the Dhamma back is going to smoothly be said on the tongue. Yaqulu. Qala Yaqulu. Qala Yaqulu. Qala Yaqulu. Okay, both of those are gathered in the verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة لا ذلول تثير الأرض ولا تسقي الحرف قال إنه يقول قال إنه يقول قال إنه يقول قال يقول واضح بارك الله في ثلاث فرسس قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة لا فارض ولا بكر عوان بين ذلك ففعل ما تؤمر قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة صفراء ساقع لونها تقول تسر الناظرين قال, قال إنه يقول إنها بقرة لا ذلون تثير الأرض ولا تسقي العرض مسلمة لا شيء فيها واضح كلير أوكي Let's do a mini exercise. Yes. Yes. No, no. Not yes. No, no, no. It will remain the same. Yani, qala will, be st will still remain on the, on the scale of fa'ala. And yaqulu will still remain on the scale of yaf'ulu. Okay. The only time we, it will affect is when we drop a letter or we change the letter's place. Okay. Otherwise, these changes 
that are done because of harf al whether it is turning the harf to another letter or switching yani, around the harakat, uh, it remains the same. Okay, now let's take yani, some uh, other words. Let's take a bunch of words here, inshallah. Okay, here's, I'm going to give you a couple of words to, to work with. Of course, we didn't take the congregations, and some of you might be wondering why. This is because the author will mention the congregations later. So, we will choose to leave it for later, inshallah. Okay? And there we'll explain it thoroughly. Wadah barakallahu fikum. Yani, if you look at your book, if you look at your book here, see, in this page, it gives you the, def the definition of the Maldi, then it gives you the different congregations, see, Nasara, Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarat, Nasarata, Nasarna, Nasarta, Nasartuma, Nasartum, Nasarti, Nasartuma, Nasartunna, Nasartu, Nasarna. Okay? This is in 57. And then if you go to page number 58. Okay? And then to 59. See, he tells you what the mudari'ah is and how to identify the mudari'ah. And then he gives you the different congregations. So, yansuru, yansurani, yansuruna. Mm-hmm. And this is easier for the student of knowledge, especially the beginning. That's why we left it for later. Tansuru, Tansurani, Ansurna, Tansuru, Tansurani, Tansuruna, Tansurina, Tansurani, Tansurna, Ansuru, Ansuru. Okay? Wallah, Barakallahu Alaikum. All right? So let's work now with what we have, which is the mob and the mudari. He does, and he is doing. Yani fa'ala yaf'ulu. Okay, or fa'ala yaf'alu. All right. Now I'm going to give you a bunch of words, which where the ain is a while. Where the ain is a while. All right, and what you're going to do, inshallah, is you're going to help me change those into the necessary, and you're going to apply the necessary changes. Okay. So, I'm going to give you the root letters, okay? And then you form into the Mahdi and the Mubala, all right? I'm going to give you the root letters. And then you do the necessary. We're going to do it together, inshallah, okay? So, the first thing, the first one I want to give you is the ta, pardon me, the ta and the wa and the ba. These root letters give the meaning of repenting. 
these three root letters give the meaning of repenting. Okay, write the root letters and write the meaning. And then when we finish, we're going to, to turn to the necessary. We're going to, to do the necessary, to turn into the Now, for now, write the root letters and write the meaning. Okay, so ta, the ta and the wa and the ba give the meaning of what? Mm. Repenting. Then we have the dal and the wow and the ba. And they give the meaning of melting. Melting. Okay. Then you have the fa and the wa and the ta. And this has the missing uh, the, the, the meaning of missing. Missing, in the sense of it passing you. Something missing, something you miss, that means it passed you. You didn't get it. Wabe. Then we have the mean and the wow. The mean and the wow and the ta. And this gives the meaning of dying. May Allah cause us to die as Muslims. No, it can't be used for missing a person. That's why I said it is missing in that sense only. No. Okay. Then we have the Ain and the Wow and the Dal, and this gives the meaning of returning. Okay. Then we have the Qaf and the Wow and the Dal, and this has the meaning of the driving. Then we have the Ain and the Wow and the Thal. And this has the meaning of seeking refuge. Then we have the Zai and the Wow and the Ra, and this gives the meaning of visiting, of Ain, Wow, and Dan, returning, returning. Zai, Wow, and Ra is mm, visiting. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you all the words that are used daily in our speech and the easiest inshallah so that we you can practice with them inshallah okay then we have Then we have the fa and the wow and the zai. 
and this has the meaning of Ain wow and dal is returning. Fa wow. And Zai is winning. Winning. Ain wow and dal is seeking refuge. Seeking refuge. Well, there. Yeah, I'm going to give you a lot of good, good number of verbs that you can work with, inshallah. Then you have the kha and the wow and the bad, which means engaging. Which means engaging. Then you have the jim and the wow and the ain. Khada, no, khada is to engage into something. Well, there. No. And the jim and the wow and the ain is um, a hunger. Hold on, please. If you'll excuse me, I just have an important phone call I have to take. Be right back, inshallah.
All right. Jazakumullah khairan for your patience. So, going back. Hmm? Definition of qaf, wow, and dal. It, it, driving. 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 Okay. Tayyum. And uh, the jim wow and ain is getting hungry. Okay. What? Mm. Then we have Ta, Ta, and Wow, and Fa, and that is uh, circling, circling around. Okay. Then we have the ذال. Circumambulating. That's the uh, adjective. Subhanallah. خير. Inshallah, we'll go over it. Inshallah. No. طيب, the ذال and the wow and the قاف This is a tasting Tasting Tasting, tasting Okay. Uh, the ba and the wow and the lamb, inshallah, is urinating. 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 Okay. The zai and the wow and the lamb is perishing or fading away. The ta and the wow and the lamb is elongating or prolonging the dal and the wow and the meme is prospering If I'm saying it correctly, yani lasting. Prospering, yes. No, the lamb it came with the with with the ta and the wow above. With the ta and the wow above here. Let me increase this. Yes. Okay. Then uh, 
The sod and the wow and the meme is fasting. 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 The qaf and the wow and the meme is standing. Standing. The kha and the wow and the noon is betraying. The sod and the wow and the noon is preserving. The calf and the wow and the noon is being, being. The noon and the wow and the ta is is hanging, 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 hanging. Hanging. Just being. It was. Kana, it was. Naam, kun fayakun. The dal and the wow and the rock. Is turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Again, ta wa ta wa ba is repenting. The wa ba is melting. The wa ta is passing away. Ma wa ta is dying. A wa da is returning. Qa. Wa-da is driving. A-wa-da is seeking refuge. Za-wa-ra is visiting. Fa-wa-za is winning, succeeding. Kha-wa-da is engaging. Ja wa a is turning hungry. Ta wa fa is huh. Circ <laughs> circumambulating. <laughs> okay, I'm new with that. Ta yin. Uh, wa ko is tasting ba wa la is urinating za uh, wa la is uh, fading or perishing to wa la is elongating or prolonging da wa ma is Prospering. So wa ma is fasting. Qa wa ma is standing. Kha wa na is betraying. Sa wa na is preserving. Ka wa na is being. Na wa ta is hanging. Da wa ra is turning around.
circumambulating طيب جزاك الله خير واضح clear okay now if we change from ma to ماضي and مضارع we say تاب يتوب ذاب يذوب فات يفوت مات يموت عاد يعود قاد يقود عاذ يعوذ إلا من تاب وآمن تاب واضح مات أفإن مات أو قتلا قلبتم على أعقابكم أن الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد وما كان لنفس أن تموت تموت عاد فمن عاد فأولئك بين قاد يقود عاذا يعوذ وأنه كان رجال من الإنس يعوذون يعوذ يعوذون زار يزور فاز يفوز فمن زحزح عن النار وأدخل الجنة فقد فاز إن الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد وإذا رأيت الذين يخوض يخوض يخوضون في آياتنا جاع طاف ذاق ذاق يذوق بال يبول زال يزول قال يطول دام يدوم صام صام يصوم يصوم قام قام خان صان كان نط واضح بارك الله فيكم So I want you to practice this at home. You do what we have done today. You change to fa'ala and yaf'ulu.